Well, the Bulls go to 2-0 on the season with a 76-41 win over Maryland Eastern Shore as they continue to play the dominating defense that they've always played here. And nothing makes you happier, Felicia Leggett Jack, than we can talk about your dominating defense. We've talked about holding teams under 59. You did that again here today. Overall happy with the effort? Well, we're never satisfied. I thought that we did some really good things defensively. I thought that we, on the backside, we didn't really dig as much as we could have and, and got more steals. And so uh, we'll accept this, but uh, we got to get better if we're going to play um, the, in the next tournament very well. More steals than the 20 you had today? You were looking for more? Absolutely, because there's a certain way we need to play. It's not necessarily about the other team. We don't really acknowledge the other team. It's about what we're about and what we've come to do. And our, our team is finally coming together. We have a senior your laden team and we're getting better and they understand we are happy that we won we're going to enjoy wins but we're never satisfied are you most happy or among the things that make you the most happy is the opportunity to play a lot of your players and get a chance to see some of your freshmen get in there and score and and do a lot of different things these young ladies have been working really hard ever since the summer and it's really neat when you can just play everybody and and, and have them enjoy uh their creativity we certainly know it's going to be games when we can't play everybody but today was the day we were able to do that. And I want to give credit to the, the CDs and the Stephanies and the Cassies uh, uh, that's on our team that really stepped up. And this young lady on my backside over here, Summer Hemphill, if she continues to play as strong and as exciting as she has this game, we're going to have a really good season. And I want to ask you about one other player in particular. You've been seeing her for well over the last year, but we've only seen two games of Sierra Dillard. And I don't know what more we're going to continue to see. It's amazing to think what more we can see. She had the play of the game with that assist here today but she brings a different energy to this team. How has that helped you? Her IQ is sensational. She brings out the higher IQ of other players on the court. Everybody's intensity rises when she's on the court because you don't know where the ball is going to go. Heck, I'm ready on the sideline. It might come to me sometime. I think that she's an unbelievable player, but once we get her in better shape and she starts playing that defense like I know she can, we're going to be even better. I think you'd still know what to do with that basket if she dished you one for an assist, wouldn't you? I got two more points in me. I got two more points <laughs> I, in me. I know you do. <laughs> hey, we're not going to see you a while, so good luck on the road trip here and uh, keep the winning going here for your team. We are Buffalo. All right, that's Felicia Leggett Jack, the Bulls head coach, following this victory for the Bulls. And she always has very nice things to say about you. Maybe that's always because you're over here as our player of the game, Summer Hemp Hill. But what does it mean to you to hear your coach talk so positively about the way you're playing right now? I love it. Um, I, it's great compliments coming from her, especially knowing how great of a player she was at Syracuse and knowing that she knows the game. I love having her as a coach and knowing that she played the four spots, so I know like exactly she's just knowing what to say to me and all that. You guys talk a different language, don't you? The same language. <laughs> yeah. Um, you come in off the bench as you usually do and you provide an energy boost for the team with 12 points. You even chipped in with the four blocks today. Are you comfortable in that role? How much does that help you get prepared for what needs to happen when you do get in? I don't mind it at all. Whatever, whatever we have to do to get the win, I don't mind coming off the bench at all. I love coming in the game and being able to run the floor and bring in a lot of new energy towards the people who are already in the game. I love it. How is this team maybe even better than a lot of the good things that we saw from your team last year? I would say everybody's just coming with a whole new confidence. Like everybody's just, everybody knew that what we had to work on during the summertime and everybody got done what they had to get done. All right, thank you, Summer. Appreciate the time. Our player of the game, Bulls forward Summer Hemphill, the sophomore, leading the way to this big Buffalo victory. Um, you know, it's interesting to hear both Coach and Summer talk about what everybody understands they need to do out there. And they do it. Um, out of the 14 players that played tonight for Buffalo, 13 of them put up points, and the one who didn't had five rebounds and two steals. Nobody played more than 21 minutes tonight. So everyone's contributing, and they're being efficient about it, and it's a nice way to roll into some really tough games coming up in Nebraska and Clemson. Yeah, and it seems pretty clear that the Bulls have a lot of confidence off last year. It's the same players in a lot of the same roles. They understand what they're needing, what they need to do. But what have you seen maybe that has allowed this team to sort of take a step up to another level? Well, 23 assists and 29 field goals is, is pretty impressive. And so to see that kind of chemistry and connection two games into the season, I think that's really special, and I think that has to be noted. I, I know that you're excited about uh, some of the upcoming road games and some of the high-level competition. What are we going to learn potentially from some of those games? Well, we're going to learn hey, is this a tournament team? And I, early on, I really do believe they can compete at that level. And so, yeah, you go play power fives and you compete with them, you, you beat them 
I mean, it is time that this program starts getting some national attention, and this is their opportunity to do that. And we'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Bulls won't be back here again until early December, but they're off to a terrific 2-0 start. It's a 76-41 win. Felicia Leggett, Jack may hang out in the band a little more if it helps lead to big wins like this. The Bulls go to 2-0. We'll talk to you Wednesday night when the men's team takes over Alumni Arena. Thanks for watching tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN.